Hey, Amanda here, bringing you into our life at Hotel Moro. Today, I wanted to give you a little update of where we are in the restoration process on the main floor. If you're enjoying our project, please give this video a like so more people can see it. Don't forget to subscribe. It's totally free to do so and you can change your mind at any time. Also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time our videos are posted, which should be every Tuesday. A couple of weeks ago, we brought in a big construction dumpster and started some of the demo work on the main floor. We started in the office, which was previously the book room. We started ripping up the old carpet and pulling down the drop ceiling. Just doing those couple of things has made a huge difference in the space. Once it starts warming up a little bit, we'll be able to repair some pl plaster, um, do the flooring, paint, all that, but we need to wait until it gets a little warmer in here. So in the back three rooms, we started boxing up the stuff and getting it ready to donate so that we could finally clear it out. We've been like giving away stuff and selling stuff for the past year and we are ready for it to be gone now. So it only took us like a couple of hours to box up all that stuff in the last couple of rooms. Um, so we got it boxed up and then once that was all done, we were ready to start ripping out carpet. In the very back room, we got the carpet ripped out, we pulled down the drop ceiling again, and then we went out to the more front kitchenette space and we were starting to um, look at how we were gonna pull down the cabinets in there and we made a surprising discovery. All right, so you wanna tell me about what you found? Yeah, so I was taking the drop ceiling out and I was pushing against this wall and it's like, not right. <laughs> and then we started inspecting it and it's totally added. You know, as opposed to like a plaster. And so we ended up really taking a look at it with all the stuff off the wall and we realized that this whole wall is added and they're just panels. It's super obvious now that we're looking for it. And then that wall is original. But then you look over here and these are totally panels too. Uh, all the way up and that explains why that's all weird looking up there. Because it's just the beam here that's original. So it would support all that. And these walls are totally just added. This doorway is added, right? And then over here. I was gonna say, let me move to the other side and then I can. This this laundry chute here, uh, this like little rectangle square shaped laundry chute is original. So come on over here in the hallway. So you can actually see like where they framed it in with the paneling and whatnot. And then you have the original laundry chute going up, that's plaster. And then it picks up again with the paneling. It goes all the way over. So all this used to be open except for like this one post here. There was just this post and this laundry chute on this, on this whole wall here. All this was added after the fact. Pretty crazy. I can't even imagine how it would look without the wall. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to rip it out. Because <laughs> we gotta see. Yeah, we gotta make this original. Yeah. Once we discovered that the walls were not original and that they were just used to kind of divide up the space and make this little apartment, 
Um, we started the process of ripping them down and it has made the space feel so much bigger and so much brighter by letting in so much more natural light. So this was something that we were totally not expecting and it was a very exciting discovery for us. So once we got the walls taken down, one thing that we started to notice is that the trim is actually still in place. Um, let's see if you can see it up there. It's actually up here. Um, so the trim is still in place, the original trim. Um, they had just like framed and finished around it. So that was really fun for us because it gives us a better idea of what this space would have looked like um, originally before they had framed it all in. So that was really exciting. So once all that was done, we ripped the carpet out of the hallway and the floors are actually in really good shape. So that was a nice find. They should be pretty easy to restore. So then the following week, we actually had some extra hands show up and we were able to finish up boxing up, sorting through all of the stuff in the event room. Um, and that was actually our last space that needed to be cleaned out on the main floor. So that's pretty exciting because we're done sorting stuff on the main floor finally and it feels so good. So then once the stuff was all taken out of the event room, we started taking down all the old shelving. Um, the event room had a lot of shelves. It was um, used for like a quilt shop at one point and like another workshop at another point. So there was um, a lot of shelving in here that needed to be taken down. It actually created a lot more scrap wood than I thought that uh, hopefully somebody will be able to use on another project. So after that, the next thing we started doing was taking down the drop ceiling in here again. Um, it ended up being a bigger task than we thought. Uh, it's just a bigger space than we kind of remember that it is. So it took, you know, almost a whole day to pull it all down.
and the ceiling is a little bit rougher than we thought it might be. So we're thinking that we will probably um, take it down and expose the beams and uh, not plaster, just take it all down because it's, it's falling down in quite a few places and gonna need a lot more work than um, we had anticipated. We hoped that it was in better shape. So then in this event room, once we get all the debris cleaned out from the past couple of projects, the next thing that I want to do is actually, um, I want to expose the brick on this wall. Um, I started doing a little test patch right here, and um, it's actually not very hard to expose it. It'll be a little time consuming, but it doesn't damage the brick and it's gonna look fabulous. So once all that demo work is done, then we'll be able to pull up the carpets and restore the floors underneath. Hopefully they're in as good a shape as everything else is so far in the building. Um, and it won't take too much to get this event room going. We've started looking at ideas for tables and chairs and um, getting pretty excited. We're hoping that we can start working on the lobby soon because um, we really want to get our coffee shop up and running so that we can start having the community come and check out our project and enjoy some coffee and visiting and we're, uh, we're getting there. So hopefully later this year we'll have a coffee shop. We are planning on doing a Q&A in one of our upcoming videos. So if you have any questions for us, please let us know and we would love to get some of those answered for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter, sneak peeks, behind the scenes info, family life, and so much more. Please hit like if you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next week.